Happy Hump Day. Phil Lindemann with your midday news on Crystal 93. I-70 traffic this MLK weekend was busier than last year, but just barely. 170,000 vehicles passed through both sides of the Eisenhower Tunnel Friday through Monday, about 1,000 more than last year. That makes this year the fourth busiest MLK on record, and it might have cracked the top three if not for a Friday snowstorm to close the tunnels after dark. 672 people died on Colorado roads last year, the deadliest since 2002, and State Patrol fears the final tally could reach 700. They are still collecting data. Colorado ski country was actually the safest place for drivers, reporting 57 total fatalities across 15 counties, including Summit, Grand, Eagle, and Pitkin, and most of the I-70 mountain corridor. The Denver metro area was the deadliest, with over 150. More details now on the snowboarder who fell from Peru chair at Keystone last Friday. The State Tramway Safety Board says the man slipped off the chair while moving to make room for other passengers. The bar was up at the time. He was treated for moderate injuries. No one else fell, and a follow-up inspection showed no issue with the lift or the chair itself. When you get busted for violating Summit County's new short-term rental rules, this is what you can expect. It's sort of a three-strike system. If we have a you know, substantiated violation, they're getting notice of a violation. They're not necessarily getting a citation from the sheriff's office, but they're getting a notice of violation from the planning department. If they get a number of these, then we move forward with a revocation process. That was Keeley Ambrose with the county. Tune in today at 4 and 5 for more on updated STR enforcement with the State of Summit. The runaway real estate market just won't stop. Home sales hit $1.5 billion last year. Summit alone made $2.6 billion, and all local sales, including Park, Grand, and Leadville, nearly broke $3 billion. Prices were up across the board, most notably Leadville, where the average home was selling for nearly $550,000. That's up $200,000 in just two years. Summit County and Silverthorne are partnering on a child care center at Smith Ranch, but the cost has doubled, and for now, the county's on the hook for most of it. Commissioner Elizabeth Lawrence. I feel that we're really going to lose credibility if we don't move this forward. It already had a big delay, and you know that was our partnership with Town of Silverthorne. The county and town are meeting soon to figure out who pays for what. Town of Dillon finally has bids for the dirt lot formerly known as Town Park, and they are in the same boat as everyone else. Both bids are over two and a half million. That is double what the town planned for in 2019. But council is willing to pay it. They review the winning bid at the next council meeting, February 1st. In sports, the Avalanche played the Ducks tonight at 8 on TNT. The Nuggets face the Clippers at 8 on ESPN. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family and Dillon, Summit High Girls Basketball lost to Moffitt County last night, 54-24. Today, Tigers Wrestling is hosting a tri-meet. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.